The following presentation is brought to you by NACE International and the NACE Foundation. Corrosion is a massive deterioration problem, way more damaging than you might think. Much of our highway infrastructure is reaching the end of its designed life, causing growing potholes, broken up concrete, and worse, bridges collapsing. Have you ever hit a pothole in a highway driving down the road? The chances are very, very good that that pothole is created because of the infrastructure in the concrete, the rebar, which is metal on the inside of the concrete to hold it together and to give you some a stronger base there. When it corrodes away, the concrete breaks and, and it, it causes these holes in the highways. How about the water heater in your home? Have you ever gotten up to take a shower in the morning and you don't have hot water? There are a number of things that can happen to a hot water heater that are corrosion related that with just a little bit of upfront cost could extend the life of that hot water heater. Corrosion is everywhere. It's in the pipes bringing water to our homes. It's here at the electric utility station. Corrosion attacks the tracks and trains. It destroys vehicles, airplanes, airports, pipelines, storage tanks containing hazardous materials, nuclear power plants, oil and gas production facilities, you name it. And even if you can't name it, corrosion is hard at work destroying it. Anywhere in the world, it's there. We all remember years ago when we purchased vehicles that they had a very short lifespan. And not so much engines, it was a matter of corrosion of, of the various body parts. As the price of vehicles went up, the general public started to not accept the, the inevitability of corrosion. They insisted that the vehicle last longer. To meet that demand, industry has in fact built vehicles with different construction techniques, with different materials, with different alloys, so they are now generally corrosion resistant. No longer do we have to spend extra money for aftermarket corrosion protection. Corrosion costs the United States over $276 billion each year, about 3% of our gross domestic product. Nearly $1,000 for each man, woman, and child in this country per year. The attitude of the general public is what's going to force corrosion control issues to the forefront. If the public were aware of the ability of industry to control corrosion, many of the corrosion problems that we presently see would not exist. end of the day, you know, what, what is the real answer to this cost of corrosion? Well, the real answer is education, education to our public that, that it's a problem, but education that this problem does have an answer. Uh, it has uh, solutions that can be applied to reduce the enormous cost that each one of us faces. The public shouldn't accept corrosion as being inevitable. Corrosion can be controlled if you are educated to the point where you understand what can control them.